We're here this weekend. Everybody's anticipating Manny Pacquiao against Timothy Bradley, June 9th, MGM Grand. What are your thoughts on that fight? Well, you know, I like Bradley. You, you know, like I think him? Bradley is a young guy, strong guy. You know, he brings a lot to the table. And people can underestimate him if they want to, but look, this kid haven't been world champion for nothing. Gotcha. You, know, you don't just get a fight like this without having to beat somebody. Really? You know, and the kid is a really good fighter. And, you know, sometimes, you know, I just think that certain things happen and you can see it and just tell that this might be this guy's time. Is it the fact that maybe Pacquiao might be slowing down? Maybe his heart's not in it? I mean, Bradley well, says Pacquiao's not hungry anymore. What do you say to that? Well, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm not in the gym with Pacquiao every day, so I okay. don't know how he's training. I don't know. But, you know, look, Pacquiao is one of the best fighters in the world today. But, you know, everybody's reign comes to an end. Really? But what is, is this time or the next time? I mean, watching him in the last fight with Marquez, you can see he slowed down a little bit. Yeah. Watching him with, with Margarito, you can see he slowed down a little bit. But look, he's still one of the best fighters in the world, and you can't take him lightly. And I don't think Bradley did. You think maybe some people are sleeping on Bradley just a little bit? A lot of people are sleeping on him. Yeah. A lot of people. And, but, you know, and that's how you catch people. Gotcha. <clears throat> I think, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I think, I think, you know, when you get to this level, if you sleep on somebody, you know, you might get bit. Okay. And another fight, um, used to train Guillermo Rigondeaux. He fights Tian Kennedy this weekend. What's your thoughts on just the kind of talent that Guillermo Rigondeaux is? Guillermo is one of the best fighters in the world, period. Okay. Gotcha. You know, he's, he has all the talent in the world, and he can punch. Gotcha. So this, this kid, it's going to be hard to beat Guillermo. And I don't see many guys from... 18 to, to 30 beat this kid. Now, Riggin, now, I spoke to Bob Arum. He said if Jorge Arce wins as he fights this weekend and Donaire wins July 7th against right. Jeffrey Mathabula, he said he's going to make that fight because that's the fight people want. Do you feel that's just because Arum realizes the danger of a Riggin against absolutely. Donaire? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. I mean, but look, I think the best it's fighters no, have to start fighting the, the best fighters. Okay. Simple as that. Right. You know, we can't start, you know, going around in circles with these guys. You know, in the, in the old days, the best fought the best. Yeah. You know, today, it's not happening. But I think sooner or later, in order to save this sport, we have to, you know, the promoters and the fighters got to start demanding that they fight the best fighters. All right, Ronnie Shields, respected trainer. Thanks a lot, Ronnie.